الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف الأنبياء والمرسلين يا أخذ الكرام my brothers and sisters in Islam the khutbah today is about equality equality between the human being and the last khutbah of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم the last khutbah which the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم talked about equality and justice and fairness among mankind among mankind. In Alhamdulillah, Nahmadu wa nasainu wa nasakhfiruh wa na'udhu billahi min shurur anfusana wa min sayyata amalana man yahdi allahu falamudhillu lah wa man yudhill falaha adiyala wa nashadu an la ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika lah wa nashadu anna sayyidina muhammadin abdahu wa rasuluh Amma ba'd Qala Allahu ta'ala ya ayah al-ladhina umina taqu allah haqqa tughatayi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun Yaqdir Yiram Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Qur'an Ya ayyuhal nas inna khalaqnakum min dhakaran ba untha wa ja'alnakum shu'uban fa qaba'il li ta'arafu inna ikramakum inna Allah atqaakum inna Allah alimun khabir meaning O mankind behold we have created you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says O mankind behold we have created you all out of the male and female and have made you into nations and tribes so that you might come to know one another. You might come to know one another. Can you come forward, please, brother? Fill the gap here, please. Verily, again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they continues. Verily, the noble of you, noblest of you, in the sight of Allah, Sight of God is the one who is most deeply conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Behold, Allah who is all knowing and all aware. Alimun Khabir. But, brother and sister, in humanity and in Islam, with this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made all mankind equal to each other. With this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala demolished. All superiority between the rich and poor, man and woman, black and white, a slave and a master. This is Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, there is no superiority except with taqwa, being mindful of Allah at all time and doing good deeds. This is the foundation of Islam. The slave and master are equal in the eyes of Allah, all you. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam brought Islam to all mankind, to all mankind, Islam is belong to all mankind, it's not belong to Muslims. Quran is belong to all mankind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Quran always says, Ya ayyuhan nas, Ya ayyuhan nas, Ya ayyuhan nas, O people, O people, O people. He never says, Ya ayyuhan muslimun. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa brought Islam to all mankind, there were lots of slaveries. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ordered to free all the slaves, all the slaves, and become brother to each other. Man and woman. We are the slave, man and slave. This was and is the message of Islam, that all mankind are brothers and sisters to each other. Even Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself had, had, a, had, had a slave called Bilal, Bilal al-Habashi, very important of course, and he, he freed him and, and after that the Bilal said, can I be your servant? Ya Rasulullah, can I be your servant forever and become my servant forever and become one of the greatest Sahaba, one of the greatest companions, the slave coming companion of the Prophet of Allah. All equal. And sisters, it is so clear from the last khutbah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, showed that the greatness, the strength of the foundation of Islam. And sister in humanity, Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam delivered his last sermon, the khutbah. 
On the 9th of Zulhijjah, 10th years of the Hijrah migration from the Mecca to Medina, in Mount Arafat, the famous, the last famous book. His khutbah was clear and concise and was directed to entire humanity. It was not for just the Muslim. Entire humanity. Khutbah started praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O oh mankind, lend me mankind. He says, O oh mankind, this is all Muslimin. O oh mankind, let lend me an attentive ear, for I not know. I know not whether after this year I shall be ever amongst you again. SubhanAllah. And you need us to go. Therefore, listen to me. He continued, listen. Listen to what I'm saying and take these words to those who could not be present today. Generation and generation of the to coming. Oh people, just as you are regarded this month, this day, this city, Mecca, <coughs> as a sacred, so regard the life and property of every Muslim as a sacred trust. Return the good entrusted to you, to their rights, rightful owners. Hurt no one. Hurt no one so that no one hurts you. Remember that you will indeed, you will indeed meet your Lord, Allah, and that He will indeed reckon with you. All your days. Allah has forbidden, he says, he continues, Allah has forbidden for you usury interest. So all the interest shall hereafter be abandoned. No one is allowed to get any interest from today. Your capital, however, is yours to keep. You will neither inflict it nor suffer any injury. And again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has judged says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has judged that there shall be no interest. Haram. And of course Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is a part of the Quran, the people who are eating interest, they be the people who are worse, uh, worse people in the human being. Beware, he says, beware of Satan, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says. Beware of Satan for the safety of your religion. He has lost all hope that he will ever be able to lead you astray in any big things. So beware of following him in small things. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, oh, mankind, this is human right. It is true that you have certain rights with uh, regard to your woman, but they also have a right over you. Remember that you have taken them as your wives only under Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala trust and with his permission. Do treat your woman well and be kind to them, for they are your partners and committed helper. He continues, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, O people, listen to me in earnest. Worship Allah. Say your five daily prayer, salah, fasting during the month of Ramadan. Give your wealth as zakat and perform hajj if you can. Perform hajj if you can. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam continued, O mankind, manka, all mankind is from al Malif. An Arab has no superiority over non-Arab, and non-Arab has no superiority over Arab. Also white has no superiority over black, and black has no superiority over white. Except with white, taqwa, and good action. Prophet continued, learn that every Muslim is a brother to every Muslim. 
and that Muslim constitute one brother. All Muslims are brothers. Nothing shall be legitimate to a Muslim which belong to a fellow Muslim unless it was given freely and willingly. Do not, do not therefore do injustice to yourself. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, remember, remember one day you will appear before Allah and answer your deed. So beware, do not astray from the path of righteousness after I am gone. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was given advice. Hundreds of thousands were there at that time. He continues, oh people, no prophet, our apostle will come after me. And no faith will be born. No religion will be born. True religion. Reason well. Therefore, oh people, and understand the word I, I convey to you. I leave behind. I leave behind two things, the Qur'an and my sunnah, my example. Anyone goes follow these, they will go to us, truly follow us. All those who listen to me, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, all those who listen to me shall pass on my word to other and their those other to other again, again and again, and may the last. May the last one understand my word better than those who listen to me because the knowledge goes more. This is what I'm saying, my brothers, in a thousand years or a hundred years or so, the people understand that more than we understand. For that reason, and it's like a Quran, Quran open itself. Different, different thousand years ago, they understand it was different. Now is and different, and of course later going to be different. Allah says, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam continued, Be my witness, Allah, oh Allah, be my witness that I have conveyed your message to your people. Ya Hiram, brothers and sisters, the ceremony took place near where the excellent verse revealed. This excellent verse revealed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al lakum dinukum, wa atmantu alaykum ni'amati, wa raddaytu lakum al islam adina. Today, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Today I have perfected your religion, law for you, and have bestowed upon you the full measure of my blessing, and I have pleasure, I am, and I am pleased for you, to have Islam as your religion. Barakallahu alayhi wa alaykum fi al-Qur'an al-Kareem wa nafa'ni wa ayyakum bima fi min al-ayat wa dhikr al-Hakim wa aqulu huli haza wa astaghfiru Allah al-Azim li wa lakum al-Nisar al-Muslimin wa al-Muslimin wa al-Muslimin wa al-Muslimin wa al-Muslimin wa astaghfiruuh wa astaghfiruuh min kulli fan wa astaghfiruuh inna hu huwa ghafuruh Alhamdulillah, nahmadu wa nasta'in wa nasta'in wa nashkuru wa na'udhu billahi min shuru na anfusana wa min sayyata amma lana wa mani hadallahu wa falamu dhillillah wa min yudhi falahad yala wa salatu wa salam ala sayyidina muhammad al-sadiq al-wa'd muhammad al-sadiq al-wa'd al-ameen wa ala akhwanhi al-nabiyin wa al-mursaleen wa radiyallahu an umat al-mu'mineen وعن خلفاء الراشدين أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن أمة المحتدين أبي حنيفة ومالك والشافي وأحمد وعن أولياء والصالحين أما بعد عباد الله فإني أوصيكم أن أستبتقوا الله العلي العظيم فاتقوا وأعلموا أن الله أمركم بأمر عظيم أمركم بالصلاة والسلام على النبي الكريم فقال فقال إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صلى الله سيدنا محمد وعلى آله سيدنا محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آله إبراهيم إنك أمين مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آله محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آله إبراهيم في العالمين إنك أمين مجيد ويقول الله تعالى ويقول الله سبحانه وتعالى يا أيها الناس هذا شيء مهم يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم أن نزلت لك الساعة شيء عظيم 
يوم ترونها تذر كل مردة لما أردت فتذر كل ذات حملة حملها وترى الناس سكارة وترى الناس سكارة فما هم بسكارة فما هم بسكارة ولكن عذاب الله شديد سكارة اللهم ربنا أحتنا في من حديت وأفنا في من حفيت وتبلنا في من تبليت وبارك لنا في من أعتيت وقنا شر ما غضيت إنك توضي ولا يبقى إليك إنه لا يزل من بوليت ولا يمد من عاديت تبارك ربنا تبارك ربنا وتعاليت لك الحمد على ما غضيت ولك الشكر على ما أعتيت ونستغفرك ونستغفرك اللهم من جميع الذنوب وخطايا ونتوب إليك يا رب العالمين اللهم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين آمين آمين أغام الصواب